Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video we are going to talk about Edmodo, which is the 21st century classroom software. So we will go through some pros and cons. I'll tell you more about uh, Edmodo and uh, yeah, we'll compare it to the others. So what is it? Edmodo is a global education network for teachers, students and their parents. Using the platform, uh, K-12 uh, teachers and schools can offer a holistic learning environment for their students. The technology enables teachers with excellent education, uh, educating uh, tools like um, assignments, quizzes, gradebook and uh, rosters, all managed uh, digitally. Being the largest K-12 learning network in the world, Edmodo enables them to use and share millions of approved resources with other educators globally. It also doubles up uh, as a professional learning community for them. For students, the platform offers an intuitive and encouraging discussion space where they can uh, communicate with their teachers and other students in the class. This eliminates any hesitation and uh, nervousness that uh, often occurs in traditional classroom setup, allowing students to voice their opinions freely. Its user's friendly mobile, its user -friendly <laughs> mobile app seamlessly updates every student activity in the, uh, in the classroom to their, to their parents. It's basically made for uh, all types of schools uh, from small, medium to large and providing online support during the business hours. As I said before, you can install Edmodo on your mobile phone and run it in your browser as I am doing right now in Google Chrome. It's completely free. You don't have to pay anything just to use it. For example, you can compare Edmodo to Google Classroom or Moodle or Schoology, uh, on which we will do uh, also videos later, mm, especially uh, Schoology, because that's what I think it's the closest one. So, uh, once you log in or not log in, but once you arrive uh, at edmodo.com, you can check uh, about uh, anything about Edmodo. You can check the blog, webinar support, or for sure, getting started. You can also use it straight away uh, from their landing page and uh, sign up for a free account. Once you go there, you just have to go uh, and decide on which you want to go with teacher, student or parent. The easiest one to create is a teacher one because for student and parent you'll need actually a code of uh, the school that you are a part of or if you're a student that you are visiting that school or if you're a parent, parent uh, you will need the code for your uh, kid's school. So we can show it uh, to you on uh, Edmodo uh, teacher account. In teacher account, as you can see, with Edmodo, we have the home button, we have all the classes. At the moment, we don't have any. We have calendar, we can discover, and also there are all the messages straight away straight away we can uh, add our school which we actually don't have but uh, let's try if there is any any school that we can go with Obviously in uh, my city there is none because I live in a small city so let's go for capital, uh, capital one and you, you see that you can just uh, go and create it out of, uh, out of blue. For example, Vizi Bulharska Škola. 
Osterreich Institute, Jazykova Škola, which is a language school, Pan European University, and many more. Then we can create a class. We can go with uh, let's go with Slovak language. This is pretty much self-explanatory. Select a grade. Let's go with uh, fifth. Select subject. Let's go with uh, language arts. Speech. And we can create the class straight away. We don't need that at the moment. And we can add obviously the students that they are going to be involved. We can also put it in the calendar very easily, which is Friday. We can go with the tasks, but mostly we can create another one. Let's go with science class. Ninth grade. Science. Physics. You can change the color for red and also create it. And straight away you can uh, add a student if we have any and then just invite them it's so easy to go by classes and uh, you can uh, create all of them all of the classes that your uh, students will attend now we can create a group for example, for example, let's go with English class. Okay, fourth grade is maybe, let's go with higher education and create also you see the code with this code uh, you can invite the people to join this group if we are able to get uh, our students here we can just send them easily the code and they will be able to join straight away to our English class group. Then we have popular hashtag with special education arts, uh, English language arts, and uh, many more. Then also we have a collections here, messages, and all uh, the options that you can create here. With this link, when I go to top right corner of my screen, and click on invite teachers we can easily invite teachers into our into our party so we have the connections library groups pages microsoft office and then uh, all the other like what's new settings help desk and many many more so anything you like to see it's very well Mm, basically it's it's part of the bundle in Edmodo and uh, that being uh, it's completely free even as uh, you are uh, for example a teacher or you want to create yourself like your own school uh, for um, for for the children if you're not gifted enough to have a school of your own but in some kind of uh, small village you can use Edmodo to micromanage your attendees, your students, and also the parents. But mostly it's made for uh, big schools, already established schools. 
If you have any questions about uh, how to be part of Edmodo, please leave them underneath this video. We will create way more videos about Edmodo and we'll show you how you can set up how you can set up all the stuff, all the information in Edmodo so you can really start working on your own. Up until then, thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one. Have a great day.